Hey, how you doing, econ students? This is Jacob Clifford. A few days ago, I posted a video that explained the structure of the AP exam and gave you some helpful tips. In this video, I'm gonna dive deeper into the free responses and give you some strategies that'll help maximize your score. Here we go. As you know, there's three free responses on the AP microeconomics exam. The first one's longer and worth more points and usually includes questions from multiple units. The second and third free responses are shorter and usually pull content from only one unit. Now, the tip I give my students when it comes to free responses is I tell them to roll. Actually, I'd force them to write R-O-L-L -L on their free response before they started. R stands for read the entire question first. This is gonna help you see the big picture and sometimes understanding what they're asking in part B helps you understand what they're trying to say in part A. O stands for organize your answer. Before you start writing, know how many graphs you need to draw and where you have to explain. Remember, there's a huge difference between identify and explain. Identify, you just have the right answer. For explain, to get the point, you gotta explain it out. And in recent years, they're putting more emphasis on showing your work. So when you do a calculation, you have to show your work or you don't get the point. The first L stands for list your answers. These are not essays. Don't write long answers for everything. Break it down like the free response. So list out your answers. A, I, put your answer. A, double I, put your answer. B, I, there's your answer. The last L stands for label. There's a lot of graphing, so draw big graphs and make sure to label them correctly. The worst thing is to miss a point by not putting the letter S. Why are you crying? Because I'm stupid! <laughs> Well, that's no reason to cry. <laughs> and a lot of time the College Board tells you what to label the graph, like PM or QM, use their labeling. The point is, if you wanna do well in your free response, make sure to roll. Read the entire question, organize your answers, list out your answers, and be sure to label. Okay, now you know what to do, but your next question is, what are they gonna actually ask me? I have no idea, but I do see patterns. For example, the first free response almost always asks about one of two things. Either a perfectly competitive product market showing side-by-side -side graphs for a market and a firm, or a monopoly where you have to draw the graph yourself or analyze the graph that they give you. And there's some easy softball questions like where's the profit maximizing price and quantity, but there's also gonna be tricky questions like adjusting to a new long run equilibrium for perfect competition, or deadweight loss and regulation for a monopoly. After that, the free response often pivots and asks questions from concepts in other units. For example, labor markets in unit five and externalities in unit six. Again, that's the first free response. Now the second and third free response are usually self-contained. That is, they usually focus on one concept from one unit, like utility maximizing, taxes, elasticity, game theory, cost curves, externalities, or using a chart to maximize profit or to hire workers. Now, for years, I would remind students that comparative advantage has never been asked under free response in the AP micro exam, but they put one in there last year. So be sure to add the skill of finding the comparative advantage and the terms of trade to the concepts you need to cover. Oh, okay. But most importantly, make sure you feel 100% comfortable drawing these key graphs. Even if you don't understand anything on the free response, drawing the correct graph will usually give you a few points. But really the best advice I can give is to practice. Sit down and do the release free responses from the college board or the free responses I have in the ultimate review packet. Cool beans? Yeah. Cool beans. Now, a few days before the AP exam, I'm gonna post a video with my official predictions for this year's free responses. And this year, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna invite teachers to make their predictions and post them on my website. That way, you can see what other people think are gonna be on their free response, and we can have a little bit of competition. So if you're a teacher, make sure that you're on my mailing list and watch out for an email that's gonna give you an invitation to make your predictions. And three days after the AP exam, I'll make a video going over the answers and give a shout out to the teacher who had the best prediction. Okay, stay tuned for more videos are going to help you get ready for the AP exam. And if this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next time. <laughs>